Hawaii was the location for a 14th Fed Cup meeting between the USA and Germany. The Americans 17-time Fed Cup champions, but they'd only just come back up to the World Group last April. Germany, meanwhile, were finalists in 2014, but have only lifted the trophy twice. The first rubber saw Alison Risk up against Andrea Petkovic. Not much to choose between the two in the singles rankings, and not much between them in the first set either. It went to a tie-break, and on a slow court in heavy conditions, it was proving difficult to find winners. Risk hit the line, but the breaker went all the way to 12-10. Another huge rally, the American just edging it in the end. And a real morale booster for her side to take such a tight first set. Into the second and Risk was showing some more strong form from the back of the court. It wasn't long before she'd wrapped the match up, 6-2 in the second and the first point on the board for the USA. <laughs> Next up was the world number 20, Coco Vandewey, against Julia Gerges, the American fresh from her semi-final appearance at the Australian Open. And she certainly started the stronger, breaking in the sixth game of the first set. Gerges couldn't match van der Wey for power as she served it out 6-3. In the second, and despite some competitive rallying, van der Wey had too much for her opponent. Then disaster struck. Gerg is going down awkwardly with a twisted knee before being helped off the court for a medical timeout. The rain saved her as the match was suspended for the day, but she couldn't continue the following morning and retired hurt, handing the USA their second point of the tie. Day two saw van der Wey back in action straight away. She was facing Andrea Petkovic, the German also back after a match the day before. Petkovic started the stronger, the world number 51, showing the form that got her inside the top 10 in 2011. Superb defence and a winner to match. More strong play from the German saw her take the first set 6-3. And van der Wey was showing signs of discomfort early in the second set, broken in the fifth game and looking in trouble. The American took a medical timeout for heat illness shortly after, and it looked like we could be heading for another retirement in this tie. She made it back up though, and on we went. The delay seemed to unnerve Petkovic but it did the opposite for her opponent, van der Wey, all of a sudden back to her imperious best. Catching the edge of the line with a superb backhand winner. And she took the second set to level things up. Clearly frustrated with her form and letting her anger get the better of her at the change of ends. The German completely crumbled in the decider. She failed to win a single game after that crucial second set timeout. Van der Wey completing an unlikely comeback to win the match in two hours and 12 minutes. A clean sweep for the Americans in Maui. They will now host the champions, the Czech Republic.